There once was a time when I just didn't know what to do. Then I found a place, my friend, called Camp Caramel Blue. Now I do the Caramel Boogie. The Camp Caramel Boogie. The Boo Boo Boogie. The Camp Caramel Boogie. When you want to find me, you know where I'll be. Let's do the Caramel Boogie. The Camp Caramel Boogie. I have a dictionary here. I'm going to look up a word. You see if you can guess what it means. Here's your word. Gloaming. G-L-O-A-M-I-N-G. Gloaming. What do you think it means? I think it's the time of day when it starts to get dark. I think it's the polish on furniture. Something bright that blares up. Like fly fishing. Gloaming. You know what it is? Here's a little hint. Fire burning. Fire's burning, draw nearer, draw nearer. In the gloaming, in the gloaming, come sing and be merry. You know what it is now? Here's a little recap. Is it fly fishing? Is it the time of day when it starts to get dark? Or is it furniture polish? Or is it something bright that flares up? Here's the answer. I think it's the time of day when it starts to get dark. You ever have old cardboard boxes lying around the house that just get thrown out? Don't throw them out next time. Just cut them off near the bottom and you can play table hockey inside of them. We're going the full route here. We've lined it with white paper and we've drawn in a center line and some blue lines. Then we're going to make a hockey rink out of it. Thank you. We're going to use a, uh, a milk carton like this. This is our hockey net right here. It's made out of an old milk carton that we we cut holes out of it and then lined with some of this uh, orange bag stuff. Bags get oranges in or onions in. That made our hockey net. 
then we're drawing center ice. We're going to put center ice and some decorations on it, some signs saying Camp Caribou Arena and that kind of thing. And then for a puck, we use an old ping pong ball that we're going to color uh, black, a dark colored black, so that it uh, looks like a hockey puck. So it's like a real hockey game. And then, to top it all off, we need hockey sticks. So we got some straws. And all we do is we blow through the straws and we blow the hockey puck around the table hockey rink. We find that extra step here at Camp Caribou of getting flexi strides so they even look like hockey sticks. We're going to finish off our hockey rink here and we'll have a hockey game later on. Well, the fans are filing in now and they're cleaning the ice surface, so stick around, hockey fans. We'll be right back. in your lifetime comes the magic of truly great music. For the first time ever, Time Life Music brings you piano by candlelight. Loved by millions around the world, these are the greatest romantic melodies of our time. Piano by Candlelight Lush, unforgettable music Your favorite songs from Broadway Award-winning Hollywood hits Plus today's most popular melodies Candlelight has received gold and platinum awards, and now you can own this magnificent collection yourself. Forty of today's most memorable and relaxing hits. More than two full hours of fabulous music on three cassettes for only $19.99, or two compact discs for just $24.99. If you want a piano by Candlelight, use your credit card and call 1-800-437-5353. That's one 800 437 5353 or send nineteen ninety nine for three cassettes or twenty four ninety nine for two CDs. Plus four dollars shipping and handling to Piano by Candlelight, PO Box eighteen eighty, Department One, Alexandria, Virginia. Yes, it's time again for Camp Caribou's Wild World of Sports. Welcome to the Camp Caribou Arena, where you're just in time for the finals of the Caribou Cup. Today's game is between Dwayne and Lisa, and it's going to be called for us by Mr. Foster Newton. Yes. Hello, hockey fans, table hockey fans everywhere. What do you think of today's game, Foster? Well, I think we're in for a real treat tonight, Mark. It's going to be a great game. Okay, thank you. With that, let's go down to center ice for the face-off. I think we're just about ready now. There's the ball, and off they go. They're blowing hard. There goes Lisa. It's over the line, but then Dwayne brings it back into her own zone. Now, now then, Dwayne, a big shot in the center. And, oh, it comes back. There, oh, it's almost, oh, she just, just failed to click on that one. Oh, Dwayne is working hard. There goes the ball. In, now then, Lisa. And, oh, here he comes. Oh, and he's. Oh, I'm going to the winner of the game must be Lisa of the Caribou Cup this year. Let's watch that goal again. Yes, here's the slow motion. Dwayne gets a good shot down there, but look at Lisa. She comes right back. Look at that shot. And it goes, oh, right into the net. All right. All right. Caribou question. Okay, another word. Time for another word. Sternutation. S-T-E-R-N-U-T-A-T-I-O-N. Sternutation. What do you think it means? Sternutation is when you sneeze. Burning when is a hot poker. A kind of roll or tumbling. It means to stir soup. I think it's to drain the liquid or juice out of something. 
string mutation is steering a boat. Steering mutation. Steering mutation. Do you know what it means? I'll go over what we've heard. Does it mean to uh, stir soup? Does it mean to roll or tumble? Does it mean to sneeze? Or does it mean to drain the juice out of something? Or does it mean to burn wood with a hot poker? Or does it mean to steer a boat? Here's the real answer. Stern mutation is when you sneeze. Yes! <laughs> If you believe in the power of good, you will love this story. It proves everything you believe in. Best of all, it's true. Christie, the critically acclaimed TV series starring Kelly Martin, is now available from Time Life Video to inspire and delight your whole family. In 1912, Cutter Gap was a world of ignorance, superstition, and poverty. I wasn't ready for the real challenges of life in these mountains. I'd have given up. It's not for the children. Then, Christy Huddleston came to the mission school. One plus one is two. She came to teach, but she also learned. I told you to shut up! About courage, about community, and about love. Share her strength when you share her story. No, First video you'll receive is specially priced at only $4.99. This celebrated two-hour drama shows what TV can do when it really tries. Over 30 million people watched it. The critics fell in love with it, and thousands of fans fought to keep it on the air. And now, Christy can be delivered right to your door on home video. So don't delay. Order the Christy premiere movie for only $4.99. And your family will look forward to future Christy videos every month, each with two inspiring episodes. She changed the lives of a community forever. Now let her change your life. Christy. To order Christy, the premiere movie, call 1-800-382-9090. That's 1-800-382-9090. Or send $4.99 plus $3.49 shipping and handling to... Christie, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia. I just love going for a walk on my free time. When I do, I always take a little snack along because food tastes so good. In the out of doors, you know? It's just beautiful out here. It's so beautiful. There's all the animals and all the scenery. It's great. I wish more people could enjoy the out of doors like I do. Stop, Nave! What are you doing? Stop where you are! What's the big idea? Play all the trust on the ground. Why are you talking funny and what's with the mask? I am the mask nature protector, protector of the environment. What? It's me. <laughs> I knew that. I'm just out collecting a whole bunch of garbage around camp. Garbage around camp? Yes, it's amazing what campers will throw over their shoulders if they're given a chance. So you can imagine my dismay when I saw you, a senior, throwing garbage on our beach here. It's just one little piece of garbage. It'll it'll turn into dirt in a couple of days. Uh, you are sadly misinformed, I'm afraid. Do you have your senior manual with you? Your senior handbook? Of course I do. All right, let's get it out. But first, the caribou credo. We'll follow the path. Where the caribou walk, our caribou headgear is off, on, lock. All right, now we're ready. Now, let's see. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let's look up litter. Litter. I litter. love looking in the senior handbook. It's great. Yeah. Tight. 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 Lasagna. Oh, I should really go for some lasagna right yeah. now. Um, oh, leopard frog. Uh-huh. Okay. Linguini. Lovely. I like linguini. Here it too. is. Litter. Litter. Okay. Now, it says here. Oh, hey. Okay. Five years, five years for an average piece of paper to decompose in the soil. Five years? Five years. Let me see that. It says it takes up to a hundred years for an aluminum juice can. Like a hundred, hundred years. years. That's, that's, that's older than we are. At least, so it says here, so when you're in the outdoors, be your own good constant, con your own good conversationalist. Conversationalist? Conversationalist, okay. So how's it going? Fine, fine. Nice weather we're having. I hope it doesn't rain. No, it's, it's been nice. I don't see how this could possibly help. It's what it, it's what it says. Let me see that. 
It says conservationist. See your own good conservationist. Conservationist. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? That means to preserve, protect, and maintain the wilderness environment. Is that the idea? <laughs> So what do you do? I don't know how to do okay, that. Okay, here's a little tip for you. If you're out in the woods and you have a wrapper or some papers or something, yeah. just put them in your pocket. Put, put them, them in, in your, your pocket. pocket. Yeah. Okay. Take them home. Put them in your pocket. Put them in your pocket. Take them home. But what if you got something bigger, like like a like a, a juice tin or something? Then okay. what do you do? Well, you can put it in a little bag. Put it in a bag and take the bag home. A bag? Yeah. I don't have any bags with me. Oh, here. Hold on. I've got some. Here we are. Here's some bags. These are good. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, I think... I'll I may have brought one or two things on the trail. I'll just go back to okay, the Okay, good idea. So that's really important. If you're out in the woods, make sure you don't just keep feeding things around. Because we're really just kind of deaf in the woods. It's the, it's the animal's home we're in. You know, I mean, how would you like it if an elephant left uh, uh, peanut shells in your bed? That'd be sad. What if a gorilla left mm, banana skins in your shoes? Or, or what if, uh, what if an, a hippo was in your bathtub and left a big bathtub ring? That'd be terrible. So remember, don't be a litter bug, because every litter that hurts, and as we protectionists say, um, take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints. Bye. I guess I dropped more than I thought I had. I guess so. Hey, look at this. I found a pencil. I think it's waterlogged right down at the bottom of the water. I love walking along the beach. This part of camp, you can see all kinds of things. I find, I walk along and my eyes go down and I walk and I look and I see something. Usually you see things that are either really cool or really weird. Here's a really weird one. Yeah, old pots in here. I'll just put that in the old garbage bag here. Now here's a really cool item. Clamshell. I'll wash it up. I'll just take that one back. It might do something with that. That and the pencil. What else? Oh, look at this. A piece of driftwood. Driftwood. See, the, the water wears away the wood. See all these neat little swirls in it. Really neat. I'll put that back down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, what the heck is that? Plastic. Oh, I know. It's a, uh, a, bo a boat failure. It probably came from over there somewhere. I'll, I better put that in the garbage bag, too. Hey, here's another thing for the garbage fail. Look at this. An old sponge. Good heavens. Oh, here's something really neat, though. Look at this. Now, I bet this... I bet this was chewed off by a beaver. It's a piece of driftwood, too. Just about right for a, a staff, a walking staff, for my walk on the beach. See you later. Learn startling truths about hidden Hebrew codes and much more in the signature of God. You can call our toll-free number right now and request your own copy of this astonishing book. It's available when you support TV38's ministry with a gift of any size. You may want to give $20 or even $25 as a way to support this kind of quality Christian programming. So call 1-800-344-3916 right now and make your generous gift to support TV38. For a gift of $38, you'll receive two copies of the book. Or if you prefer, for a gift of $45, we'll send two VHS tapes with Grant's complete teaching from his best-selling book. You'll see how hidden codes in the Bible reveal the signature of God and the names of historic figures like Adolf Hitler and Anwar Sadat. And as a very special offer during this broadcast, you can receive both books plus the videos for your very special gift of just $60. So call 1-800-344-3916 right now. They're nutty, goofy, zany, and just plain silly. From the creator of the award-winning television series, Wild America, comes a hilarious home video unlike anything you've ever seen. These are nature's fantastic follies. Fantastic Follies is a non-stop comical romp through the world of animals. 
It is not available in stores. Call now to get Fantastic Follies for just $19.95. Order now and you'll also receive Backyard Wildlife absolutely free. That's right. Both of these extraordinary programs are yours for just $19.95. Call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-483-8448. That's 1-800-483-8448. Or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. Call now. Okay, here's one more word for you. Mizzle. M-I-Z-L-E. Mizzle. What do you think it means? I think it's part of a sailboat. Mizzle is fresh cut grass. I think it's an animal. It's like a light rain. I think it's a part of a tree. So what do you think? Is it part of a tree? Part of a sailboat? Is it a light rain? Is it a type of animal? Is it uh, the grass, after you cut the grass? Here's the right answer. It's like a light rain. Yes, yes that's it! That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, campers. Hot enough for you out here? Hot enough for me. I think it's about a zillion degrees in the shade out here. It's very sunny. But that's a good day to use that solar power. And today, I'm going to try and cook a hot dog wiener with just the sun. Actually, not just with the sun. I'm constructing here a solar-powered weenie roaster. It's kind of neat. All you have to do is, well, I got some cardboard, and I cut out these sort of half-moon, these crescent-shaped pieces of cardboard. I actually put two together, and I staple them together to make it quite stiff. And then I tape the two of these. I tape this piece, this sheet of plastic. It's actually, I think it's called mylar. And it's, it's covered with some silver stuff, and it really reflects sun well. That's going to be important for what I'm making here. I take this, and I put a backing on it of cardboard that's covered in uh, aluminum foil. I kind of think aluminum foil will reflect well, too, so I'm, I'm jamming that in there. So what I do is I put this piece down on the cardboard back, and I got some heavy tape here that I'm sticking it all together with. I cut the tape in little pieces the way along so it'll it'll go around that round edge there's one stuck down i tried this once actually just with aluminum foil and it reflected the sun quite well but i i heard about this mylar stuff and i figured i had to try it now that's stuck together and that my friends is our solar weenie roaster and what you do is kind of look up at the sun and you want to position it properly and you want to add of course the weenie i've got a, a coat hanger that i've bent open here and this is going to be the rotisserie so i let's see here move the plate kind of position it and the sun comes down and it hits the mylar or the aluminum foil and it reflects on the sides and you can kind of see where the all the light rays converge and you poke through your your uh, rotisserie here, place the wiener along it, along the wiener, dog on the side goes for a ride, put it along, and then out the other side, I'll center it here. Now I'll position it finally here. Ooh, it's really getting hot down here. Hot dog. That's just about right. Now all I do is just give it some time, give the sun some time and the solar weenie some time. I'm going to go sit in the shade. Well, let's see, that's been about 20, 25 minutes. Let's see. Hey, hey, campers, that dog is hot. The solar weenie roaster has done the trick. Of course, you only really want to do this on a hot, hot day when the sun is beating down on you. Oop, there we go. Yes, sir, time for lunch. Look. If it ever is a really hot day and you want a hot dog, try this solar weenie. It's great. Out of this world. Attention campers, mail call in the camp office. Something a little different today. Thanks for sending in the mail. It's great getting all this mail. This is from Kate Culver. And what she's done is taken the names of trees 
scramble the letters around and you have to try to figure out what the tree is. So take these top three letters. A K O. What tree? Oak tree. O A K. Oak tree. That's all you do. The solar weenie roaster works. It works. Yeah, I just had a little hot dog here. Turn the sun's rays into munch. That's amazing. Yeah. I should try that. Mm -hmm. I have a little game going here. Alrighty. Take okay, take those four letters. N I P E Night. Night. But what that actually Good game. <laughs> what that is is the letters from the name of a tree. And all you have to do is try to guess what the oh, tree yeah. is. Tree mixed up. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a pine. Pine. P I N E. Pine. Okay. Here's I I started with the easy one. Oh, I see. So now now they get tricky. Yeah. P. Woo. A. L. Pale. Pale. Pelum. Pelum. Good heavens. What's the tree? You try a number of different uh, trees. Is uh, it a uh, elm? No, no, no. Elm. Elm's in there. Yeah, so that's not different than that. Oh, it's a uh, uh, palm. No, no, palm tree. Palm is no, 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 no. no. Palm tree. No. You, you get it? Got me on this one, I think. Maple. M O M A P L E. Maple tree. Okay, here's another one for you. Here's another one that's for you. That's a little trickier. That one there. R and R I C H. B. Rich B. Rich B. No, no, not Rich B. What no. do you think? It's uh, something different like uh, Name of a tree. Hickory or something. B there. Oh, birch. Oh, birch. 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 Birch tree. White birch. B I R C H. Birch. Birch. Thanks to Kate Culver for that. It is. <laughs> Look, if you got any riddles like this or jokes, send them to us at Camp Caribou. There, C K C O T V. 864 King Street West. And that's in Kitchener, Ontario. N2G 4 E Niner. So write us a letter. Yeah. You know, I think it's just about time to head to the old campfire. Yeah, it's almost dusk out there. No, it's almost gloaming, gloaming. out there. Bye. See you later.